think that you're in charge of the program. I would have to check uh, the records. I haven't uh, looked at this in some time. The information form, the consent form, was also supposed to warn people about any risks of serious complications following the shot. But did it? No, I had never heard of any reactions other than a sore arm, fever, this sort of thing. Judy Roberts' husband, Gene, also took the shot. Yes, I looked at that document. I signed it. Nothing on there said I was going to have a heart attack or I can get Guillain-Barre, which I never heard of. What if people from the government, from the Center for Disease Control, what if they had indeed known about it? What would be your feeling? They should have told us. Did anyone ever come to you and say, you know something, fellas? There's the possibility of neurological damage if you get into a mass immunization program. No. No one ever did? No. Do you know Michael Hatwick? Yes. Mm -hmm. Dr. Michael Hatwick directed the surveillance team for the swine flu program at the CDC. His job was to find out what possible complications could arise from taking the shot and to report his findings to those in charge. Did you know ahead of time, Dr. Hatwick, that there had been case reports of neurological disorders, neurological illness, apparently associated with the injection of influenza vaccine? Absolutely. You did? Yes. How'd you know that? By review of the literature. So you told your superiors, the men in charge of the swine flu immunization program, about the possibility of neurological disorders? Absolutely. What would you say if I told you that your superiors say that you never told them about the possibility of neurological complications? That's nonsense. I can't believe that they would say that they did not know that there were neurological illnesses associated with influenza vaccination. That simply is not true. We did know that. I've said that Dr. Hatwick had never told me of uh, his feelings on this subject. Uh, that he's lying. I guess you would have to um, make that assumption. Then why does this report from your own agency, dated July 1976, list neurological complications as a possibility. I think the uh, consensus of uh, the scientific community was that the evidence relating neurologic disorders to influenza immunization uh, was such that they did not feel that this association was a real one. You didn't feel it was necessary to tell the people that information? Uh, I think that uh, over the, the years we have tried to inform the American people as, as fully as possible. As part of informing Americans about the swine flu threat, Dr. Sensor's CDC also helped create the advertising to get the public to take the shot. Let me read to you from one of your own agency's memos planning the campaign to urge Americans to take the shot. The swine flu vaccine has been taken by many important persons, he wrote. Example, President Ford. Henry Kissinger, Elton John, Muhammad Ali, Mary Tyler Moore, Rudolph Nureyev, Walter Cronkite, Ralph Nader, Edward Kennedy, etc., etc. True? Uh, I'm not familiar with that particular piece of paper, uh, but I do know that at least of that group, President Ford did take the vaccination. Did you talk to these people beforehand to find out if they planned to take the shot? I did not know. Did anybody? I do not know. Did you get permission to use their names in your campaign? I do not know. Mary, did you take a swine flu shot? No, I did not. Did you give them permission to use your name saying that you had or were going to? Absolutely not. Never did. Did you ask your own doctor about taking the swine flu shot? Yes, and at the time he thought it might be a good idea. Um, but I resisted it because well, I was leery of having the symptoms that sometimes go with that kind of inoculation. So you didn't? No, I didn't. Have you spoken to your doctor since? Yes. And? He's delighted that I didn't take that shot. You're in charge. Somebody's in charge. There are... This is your advertising strategy that I have a copy of here. Who's it signed by? This one is unsigned. But you, you'll you acknowledge that it was your baby, so to speak. It uh, could have been from the uh, Department of Health, Education, and Welfare. It could be from CDC. I don't know. I'll be happy to take uh, responsibility for it. It's been three years now since you fell ill with GBS. Right. right. Has the federal government, in your estimation, played fair with you about your claim? No, I don't think so. Uh, it seems to be dragging on and on and on. And really, 
no end in sight that I can see at this point. With respect to the cases of Guillaume Barre, allegedly... Former Secretary of HEW Joseph Califano, too, was disturbed that there was no end in sight. So a year and a half ago, he promised that Uncle Sam would cut the bureaucratic red tape for victims suffering from GDS and would pay up quickly. We shouldn't hold them to an impossible or too difficult standard of proving that they were hurt. Even if we pay a few people a few thousand dollars that might not have deserved it, I think justice requires that we promptly pay those people who do deserve it. Well, who's making the decision to be so hard-nosed about settling? Well, I assume the uh, Justice Department is. Griffin uh, Bell, before he left? Well, the Justice Department agreed to the statement I made. It was cleared word for word uh, with the lawyers in the Justice Department by my HEW lawyers. And that statement said, in effect, that that statement said that we should pay uh, Guillaume Barre claims without regard to whether the federal government was negligent if they, re if they resulted from the swine flu shot. I think the government knows it's wrong. If it drags out long enough, that people will just give up. <laughs> Let it go. I, I am a little more adamant in my thoughts than my wife is because uh, I asked, told Judy to take the shot. She wasn't going to take it, and uh, she never had had shots. And uh, I'm mad with my government because they knew the facts, but they didn't release those facts because they, if they had released them, the people wouldn't have taken it. And they can come out tomorrow and tell me there's going to be an epidemic, and they can drop off like flies to me. I will not take another shot that my government tells me to take. Meantime, Judy Roberts and some 4,000 others like her are still waiting for their day in court. Back, Kevin Trudeau here. <clears throat> Did you hear, I mean, I hope you're, I, I just hope you've been listening. Here we have evidence done by 60 Minutes in 1979 proving that the United States government categorically 100% lied in their propaganda campaign to get you to take this swine flu shot in 1976. They said Mary Tyler Moore took the shot. They said a lot of important people took the shot. President took the shot. Guess what? They were lying. Mary Tyler Moore, she went on and said, no, I didn't take the shot. I never authorized them to use my name, and I'm glad I did. We have hundreds of thousands of people that died, millions became ill with neurological damage. When the United States government knew it would cause neurological damage, they didn't tell the American citizen. And we have citizens trying to say, you are my government, I trusted you, and you lied to us, and we took this shot, you didn't tell us all the facts. And we have these American citizens saying, I will never listen to or believe the United States government ever again. And I will never take a shot that they tell me to take. The government lies categorically, folks. This is not the first time. The United States federal government always lies to you. They put out propaganda through the press because today they control the press. You're being lied to by the government and lied to by the media, except on this show. Kevin Trudeau here. Be right back.